O oh, the guardian of freedom and worthy of praise, O oh, Lord of life and wisdom, I shall gain entrance to thy abode with praise and shall join thee through truth and pure thought. Do guide me, O oh my Lord, and help me in my tasks. Yasna 50, verse 7. Since, O oh Mazda, from the beginning, thou didst create soul and body, mental power and knowledge, and since thou didst bestow to mankind the power to act, speak and guide, you wish that everyone should choose their own faith and path freely. Yes, not 31, verse 11. What views are held in Mazdayasna about invasions, violence, and attacks? In verse 4 of Yasna 46, we read, The followers of untruth try to prevent those who support Asha from advancing toward their sacred goal, i.e. truthfulness, righteousness, and flourishing of the city and country. They are all known for their unfriendly actions. The persons who oppose the followers of untruth, O Mazda, with heart and soul, shall lead the world to real and true wisdom. And in a summary of verse 9, Yasna 53, The evil believers and evil-minded are slaves of desires and look down upon the righteous ones. Who is that righteous Lord who shall oppose the wicked persons with all his life force? O Mazda, it is only thy spiritual strength or thy khashatra that can bring strength to the righteous weak. Help them and bestow upon them the best rewards. In Yasna 32, verse 2, we also read, One who fights wicked men by thought, words, deed, and his arms to frustrate their evil plan and to guide them towards the path of truth, surely fulfills Lord's own will out of his love for Ahura Mazda. Would you please talk about wedding ceremonies? During marriage testimony, the following, Yasna 53, verse 5, is read to the bride and the bridegroom. These words I speak to you, brides and bridegrooms, and hope you hear. Deep within your souls, and live always full of love with pure mind. Try to suppress each other in truth. Indeed, reap the reward of joy and happiness. And in another verse, Zoroaster tells his youngest daughter, Porochista, about choosing her husband. Consult your inner self and wisdom and act through our mighty, that is pure love and intuition. The Gathas suffice with this. However, in Zoroastrian traditions, the consent of the bride bridegroom and their parents, and the couple's participation in family issues are recommended. The bride and the bridegroom are advised to be determined followers of Asha, respect their parents and educators, and help the poor to whom they do not feel degraded to relate. In marriage ceremonies, it is repeatedly said, girl and boy, unite with body and soul, in this world and hereafter. How were celebrations and mournings in ancient Iran? There was almost no mourning in ancient Iran. Instead, there were so many different merry celebrations on every occasion. These celebrations can be classified into three categories. Annual celebrations like Nowruz and Sadeh, seasonal celebrations, or Gahan bars and monthly celebrations that were held when the name of the day and the month coincided. For example, Fabardin Gan, Tir Gan, Mehr Gan, Esfand Gan, etc. 
Is the Sochiant and Mazda Yasna the same as Mahdi in Shiite Islam? No, Sochiant in the Gathas does not refer to a particular person. It signifies every benefactor, savior, or progressivist. Therefore, from a Gothic point of view, every benefactor and progressive individual is a Sochiant. In addition, Many Sochians were anticipated in Mazda Yasna. Zoroaster himself was also a savior or Sochiant. In other words, we have in the Gathas one who attempts to promote progress and conservation on earth and establishes a Shah as a Sochiant. Does Zoroastrianism belong to any specific race, like Aryan? Mazda Yasna does not belong to any specific race and the Gathas are, generally, logical, scientific, humanistic, and universal. The Gathas, or Zoroaster's sublime songs, are sweet and thought-provoking, or mantra. Moreover, they speak of the upright living. The Gathas are not bound by time or space. They are eternal, and no word is case-specific. Therefore, there is no double standard throughout unified Gothic thoughts. Since the Gothic thoughts in which decision-making is based on knowledge and conscience are inclusive, their application will not be difficult. Human rights are respected in Mazayasna, that is the very first religion in which environment and ecology are taken into consideration. Man is known as God's assistant not servant or son. Men and women have equal rights and lying is condemned. We are instructed that truth and lie are not compatible and there is no possible peaceful coexistence between them. What is the precept for converting from Zoroastrianism into other religions? In Mazda Yasna, nothing is obligatory even worshipping Ahura Mazda and everyone should consult their knowledge and conscience in every single issue to choose the right path. In fact, the individual is responsible and accountable, and God will not accept any mediators. Hence, there is unconditional freedom in converting from or into the religion. What is the precept for marrying a non-Zoroastrian? Mazda is a rational and moral religion. From what we understand in Zoroaster's thoughts, you should inform a non-Zoroastrian of Mazayasna and its manners. However, they should have freedom of choice. Therefore, you are responsible for informing your spouse, but must not force him or her into the faith. Are there any kosher or halal foods in Mazayasna? And what is the precept for forbidden alcoholic drinks, as in the Semitic religions? In Mazda Yasna, there is no halal or kosher that exists in Semitic religions. This issue can be decided upon by using your knowledge and eventually by collective knowledge or the law. Oh, oh, oh.